Joining us now is Matt Smith, president of Catholic Advocate. Matt, thank you for joining us. Thank you. The White House is saying this speech is going to be big and bold. It's about the promise of the future. What should Catholics be listening for? Well, I think Catholics are going to be listening for a change in tone. We've had the first 40 days that I think people are concerned about the tone of this administration starting off with. People of faith were excited that the, this president was going to come in, that he was going to defend religious liberty, that he was going to stand for the sanctity of life. And there's been some distractions. So I think that this is a chance for him to hit the reset button uh, in a new format and talking not only to the lawmakers that are going to have to pass the agenda, but also out to the American people about what his agenda is going to look like. You worked in the George W. Bush administration, and your role was to reach out to different constituencies, mm -hmm. like Catholics, if I recall. Right. What Do you think that this is going to be an opportunity for him to talk about faith, religious liberty? I have it from a White House official that, yes, that they think he will be doing that. Well, I think, you know, one of the things that also the White House was talking about today, he's not going to do what we've seen some other presidents do about check some different boxes for some different constituency groups. And I think the American people are, are a little bit of fatigued by that. They're, they want to see him defend our principles, like one of our most cherished, that of religious liberty. But then they're going to be interested to know what he's going to do to help those that are underserved, less fortunate out there looking to find work and, and get themselves back on track. What my executive producer always says is that, look, we're Catholics, but Catholic issues are everybody's issues. Right. So you're right. In checking that box, it doesn't, it, that is not probably what we are, what we're going to see. Though, we probably would like to hear something about the HHS mandate. Do you think it's going away? I, I would hope so. I, in these drafts of you know, repealing the Unaffordable Care Act, as I like to refer to it. Um, I think that that's where we really need to codify protections uh, for our religious liberty and our conscious protections. It's, it has to be done in any sort of health care replacement while taking care of those who uh, need health care, need access to health care, protecting uh, things like pre-existing conditions and other facets that a lot of, of just, you know, Catholics, people of faith, um, want to see in a health care bill, but the first thing is to make sure that our, we have our conscience protections. Sure, and you know what it's like to to work in a White House and to have people coming after your boss. How do you think he's going to handle criticism tonight and possibly criticism from the floor? Well, I, yeah, I think it's going to be a different type of speech for him because this is the first time he's speaking to Congress, and that's a different room. This is not a campaign rally. There's going to be the welcoming applause. One side will be polite. The other will be a, more, a little more raucous. And then everyone will sit down and start listening. That room gets very quiet. It's a lot different than a rally. There's not the normal interaction that you hear from a crowd. And so this is his time to really start leading Congress, leading our country, and demonstrating to the American people what can be done. Well, let's hope we hear some respect. Unlike the last time I was in that room and somebody yelled to President Obama, you lie. Remember that? So I do. I do. It'll be interesting so. to watch tonight the level of decorum. That's Matt right. Smith, thank you so much. President of the Catholic Advocate. Thank you for having me.